Good morning, family. It is the wee hours of Friday morning. It is about 2.28 in the a.m. on October the 28th, 2016, and it's Friday. And I have come on to show you guys the easiest, the easiest pulled pork recipe I have ever made in my life. It is absolutely scrumptious. And we're gonna cook it in the Ninja oven. We're gonna cook it on low and slow um, for about, mm, I don't know, about 10 to 12 hours or so. So, let's get started on our ingredients. What are we gonna have to uh, put this particular dish together? Well, we have about six pounds of pork meat. I have a pork shoulder, and I also had a pork loin that I had in the freezer, so I simply washed them both, and I put them inside of the Ninja. Um, Per two pounds, you're going to use one cup of a ketchup. So we have, this is equivalent to three cups. So we're gonna use the whole bottle of this. We're going to um, use packed brown sugar. We're gonna use three cups of packed brown sugar. We have our three seasoning packets here, and we have a cup and a half of water. So let's get started, shall we? We shall. Okay, we're gonna start off by putting our packets in. And what I'm going to do is, I'm just gonna simply uh, mix it all up in this same um, Pyrex measuring cup, just to make it simpler and easier. So we're gonna put the three packets inside of here, like so. Simply pulled pork. This one is just a little bit different than these guys, but it's still the same thing, pretty much the same. Tomato, tomato. And off camera, I'm going to add the other two um, packed brown sugar um, off camera. But for the sake of argument, you get the idea here on how we're doing this. Hold on, let me get my whisk. I think a whisk would probably be easier to mix this up with. So hold on one moment, let me get the whisk. This is our second one. And yes, when it says packed brown sugar, you always want to definitely um, make sure that it's packed because the measuring consistency will be different if you don't pack it. Because once you pack the brown sugar inside of uh, your measuring cup, um, it becomes a different quantity amount. So you want to be kind of cognizant about that. Okay, now this is a whisk and it just makes it simply easier to blend this up. So I'm going to blend this a little bit and then I'm going to add the extra cup. But I want to kind of get this a little bit stirred before I add it to ensure that I have enough room to work with. I stand corrected. Let me correct um, an error that I made. Now, you, as you can see, I have this um, pulled pork packet and I have this pulled pork packet. Well, um, on this one here, it also states that you have to have um, apple cider vinegar and this one does not. So, and in this one, you use a third cup of apple cider vinegar. So, we're going to add the apple cider vinegar, the third cup of that. And also, noticing here, uh, it's a half cup of firmly packed brown sugar. So, we actually added an extra half a cup of brown sugar because we used two. I didn't put the other one in there because I caught it ahead of time. But it's okay. It's no harm, no file. It's still going to be so jamming. So, at any rate, we're going to add the third cup 
of the apple cider vinegar. This is a, a half cup um, measuring cup. So a third is going to be about half of that. I can't find the other one. And I'm not going to look for it. Not in the wee hours of this morning. Not going to do it. So at any rate, here's a third cup of apple cider vinegar. We're going to add that. And we're going to whisk this in. And also, I also wanted to note with your brown sugar, it is always good practice to put um, your unused portions in Ziploc bags this way. And also to keep your brown sugar um, soft and fresh this way, you always, always, always put it in the freezer. Now I'm not going to put the um, the remaining portion of the tomato sauce inside of uh, our measuring cup because we don't want it to overflow. So to um, gain control of your mixture here, we're going to just do a little bit at a time. So now that we've gotten this pretty much um, blended up and whisked up pretty well, so now we're going to pour a portion of this over top of our cleaned pork shoulder and pork loin. And now we can put the remaining ketchup inside of here. One good thing you can do is put the lid on it this way and kind of tap it like that. And it's gonna make most of that come down very easy. And then open it back up and get more of the product. Like so. Okay, so now we're going to pour this remaining portion on top of our meat, like so. Now let's get our oven ready. I have placed it inside I have placed the pan inside of the oven and now we're going to simply cut it on slow cook low. Um, it's going to go for eight hours. So by the time I get up in the morning to make my coffee, I'll reassess it and if I need to, which I will need to give it more time, I'll give it more time at that time. At any rate, family, I love you guys and good night. Good morning, family. Let's check on our dinner. It's been cooking all morning. We have about two hours and three minutes left. But what we're gonna do is we're gonna cut it up on high now since we're able to gauge it better. So, let's cut that thing on high. It's gonna take it back up to four hours, which is fine. We're gonna need that because it's not quite done. We have about an hour left in the four hour um, cooking time. And oh my God, look at that. Yeah, look at that. Oh wow.
we're going to allow it to do that extra hour that's left in the time though it looks really really good right now but now that I'm deboning it I'd still Egypt my dog is up under here she smelled it and she's like I want some and I want some now mom <laughs> let me readjust the camera Egypt no okay Smells so good too. Oh my god. The kids are gonna love this. It's a, a rainy day today here in Southern California. And I thought why not make something as scrumptious and as wholesome as pulled pork. It's such a beautiful rainy day. Why not? The kids are gonna be jazzed looks good. Let's let it cook another, the rest of this hour. These are the rolls that I bought for the sandwiches. And what I'm going to do is I'm simply going to put it in the microwave and warm it up just for about maybe 15 seconds. Let's go 30 seconds this time. Oh, perfect. The dinner for my children is done. My son is home today. He doesn't have to work. So, this is my son's plate. Bon appetit. And then there's mine. For me though, I want more juice than anything else. Not so much a lot, a lot of meat. Like that's cool for me. Bon appetit, family. This is my portion, and it looks so good. I love you guys. I love you guys for watching. You guys have an awesome evening and a wonderful weekend. See you soon. Bye-bye for now.